So, ran out of time. I'm going to keep going. So, students will be able to, you know, do partner up and then have some activity working with each other because that's generally how they're going to learn. Uh, from my background, I think students learn from each other more than they learn from the teacher, which is why, you know, normally students can pick up slang easier than they can from formal language or anything like that. Also, once again, I'm going to bring in the five W's with that, sort of just the who, where, when, why to discuss the things that they read in the books that they selected. Uh, when I say comic books, of course, I make graphic novels, comic books, reading material, anything that we're discussing in class and, you know, uh, stories as well. So to, to end it off, I'll have the students fill out a graphic organizer about what they've learned today. Uh, already prefabricated. Today I learned blank. This is how I feel I understood blank. You know, uh, and they can come up with, you know, adjectives or whatever they need to put in there. That's going to help us figure out what they're learning and, and what we might need to change. So my adaptations are based on, you know, for students with learning disabilities, uh, not because these students are learning disabled, but because, you know, a lot of things we will see will correlate between the two, uh, new English language learners and uh, learning disabled students or students with disabilities that are learning. Uh, one thing a teacher pointed out to me was that, you know, sometimes it's misdiagnosed, so I think that's probably something good to see. If we're adapting, we should also look at scaffolding and the way we're going to do those adaptations. Uh, extensions, already within the WIDA standards, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, and then, of course, I, I would provide them homework, something simple, something to keep them in thought. Uh, you know, what is this, you know, at bathroom? You know, how do you ask to go to the bathroom? Just simple questions to keep them thinking about things for the next day, keep them engaged. Uh, so what questions will we have? Well, with this lesson plan, it's not... I'll say that it's not very uh, extensive. It's not very hard. It is creative, right? It gives the students the opportunity to learn and interact. It's kind of built more along students participating, uh, creating conversations, creating times and ways for them to talk, the times and ways for students to interact with the teacher, times and ways for the teacher to interact with students, times and ways for them to interact with each other. Uh, so that they're always facilitating the conversation. Uh, you know, classroom management is important, so we won't want it to go off the, the, the rails. But the majority of uh, ESL classes don't have any more than four or five students in them. Generally, sometimes it gets up to eight or nine. But when you talk about pushing in, you might have 10 ESL students in the classroom, but that's a classroom with other kids anyway. It presents uh, the opportunity in the classroom to do uh, for special groupings, right? You could do uh, homogeneous groupings in there where you could just mix everything up 